and what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it is your friend cheap loots let's open some splash zone packs now everyone was gassed about the splash zone packs having increased odds or whatever at 10 percent. everyone was hyped about that right well it turns out the uh 10 odds may not be 100 percent factual it's probably realistically like a seven percent chance to get an all-time or a playoffs dark matter right probably a two percent chance to get another dark matter and then a one percent or less chance to get an actual invincible so that's fun don't worry though because you can pay 175,000 bc to just outright get one of these invincibles which i've seen a lot of people tout a lot of people have been excited about this i still have to remind people that uh the game is basically gonna die in two and a half months and although this is a step in the right direction, or it would have been if they continued to do this all year, you're still paying almost the price of a full video game release for one single card that you'll use for two months and then never touch again. So please don't do that. If you want to open some packs with MT, go right ahead. If you want to, I don't know, man, just open packs with MT. Please, please, please do not spend money on this game, especially $50 for an Invincible. Let's open some packs. I'm ready to uh, disappoint myself immensely, you know? It is what it is. I had a good day at work. Oh, look at that. Maybe the 10% odds weren't alive. Maybe people are just cursed. Maybe I'm a god. Probably not. All right. All-time LeBron, I would guess, right? Yeah. I actually don't know who this is. This is a power forward. Who is this? Uh, Pascal Siakam. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ha. Ah. Siakam's not half bad. It's just like it's Siakam. So, you know, he's probably like 50K. I'll check his price towards the end, man. I have had a pretty solid day. I've been exhausted all day. Anybody in the U.S., happy Memorial Day weekend. I hope you uh, are safe or have some, like, fun plans ahead of you. I don't know. What do people normally do for Memorial Day weekend? Drink copious amounts of liquor, I would assume getting straight faded on bud light seltzers i'm assuming that's what most of you guys are gonna do oh look at that oh look at siakam number two incoming i can just feel it in my bones wait who else is it siakam number two nah it's, somebody's bald who's bald i don't know ray allen yeah <laughs> okay wait why is ray allen bald dude supersonics ray allen literally wasn't even bald what dude he's got hair in his profile oh no why did i say profile he's got hair on his card art why does he have no hair don't worry they filled in his chin strap beard 100 percent all right it's <laughs> cool i guess <sighs> two dark matters in three packs is good uh that's that's actually pretty solid this is better odds than i've had pretty much all year so that's what's up who do we get now uh Kyrie. oh that's what's up nuggets playbook send it I'm shocked that I haven't packed Damian Lillard yet. I figured that was going to be one of the cards that I packed if I were to pack anyone. Or Jalen Brown. I'm definitely not getting an Invincible. That's just not going to happen. My luck isn't that good. I got Xavier Tillman out here. I have pulled, I'm not kidding, a version of Xavier Tillman. Every pack that I've opened for the past, like... I don't know, a couple weeks, I would assume, because I keep getting the Emerald Xavier Tillman through, like, a bunch of different packs, and I don't know why. Oh, we got Tom Chambers in here. I can see that helmet of a hairdo from here. I've seen a lot of people gas, not Tom Chambers, but I've seen a lot of people gas Mo Peterson. Kind of interesting. He's got the same dribble six as T-Mac and good defensive tendencies, so he might be, like, an S-tier budget shooting guard. Now, that being said... Am I particularly excited for him? No. Uh, will I welcome him to the squad with open arms? Sure, why not? It is what it is. Let me get Shaq Diesel out here. He's all big and stuff. Let me let me get him. We got Dwayne Casey in two different jerseys. Things are looking up. Is this Rudy Go Bear? Ah, uh, is this Gobbert? Yeah, that's what we like to see. Okay, <laughs> he said sarcastically. <laughs> Yeah, we got Big Rudy. Couldn't even give me a hollow Big Rudy. That's how you feel? Okay. All right. Dwayne Casey in the Royals uniform. Let's just add this to the exchange. Ah, anybody pull any Invincibles, please comment down below. I mean, I don't really need to ask because anytime I do a pack opening video, uh, anybody who pulls anything jumps in the comment section to remind me of my ineptitude and talks about all the sick cards that they pulled. So 
I guess I don't necessarily need to tell you to do that, but let me know because I'm actually curious how many people are actually pulling Invincibles. And do not comment if you bought the Invincible pack. I know you pulled an Invincible. That's the whole point of the pack. I know that. Anyways. Hmm. I kind of want Sean Kemp, too. Sean Kemp looks all right. That Cole Anthony base is some eh, some ideas, and I like it on Joe Ingles. It's kind of a weird release, but I wouldn't mind it. Straight shooter Sean Kemp on the squad. I, I would be kind of excited. Oh, uh, okay. What's this? This is an Opal. And Chauncey Billups looking good out here. <laughs> Who is this? This is a bald person. I don't know. Shooting guard... Number 24. Wait, who is this? Is this all-time Kobe? <sighs> okay. Guys, all right. I already had Chauncey, I guess. I already was rocking Chauncey Billups. We're going to open a few more packs before I go check the prices because uh, I am chewing through MT at this current moment. I also want to know... Oh, look at that. Big bang. Oh, you know this is going to be a fire dark matter because I got literally all bronze everything surrounding it. So that's good. I don't know who this is. Oh, I knew he was coming. I knew he was coming at some point. Oh, I didn't know when, but I knew it. Oh, no, it's Dame. Don't do that dance, Dame. Get out of here. Oh, man. Okay, let's check the prices on these cards. I'm actually kind of curious. So, like, all the Opals will be discard value. Larry Hughes is okay. Like, he looks decent enough. I'll talk about these guys more in depth, like, once I get a chance to actually use some of them and talk about them in the market video. But from the outset, he looks good. Like, he's got the Fultz release and stuff. Great defensive tendencies. He's just a little bit small. I mean, at this stage, you know. Mo Peterson discard value is probably one of the better budget shooting guards in the game. Tom Chambers is, I guess, okay. He looks fine enough. Like, there's nothing inherently wrong with Tom Chambers. It's just nothing inherently right. He's got Saban Lee release. So they gave him the Shane Battier release, uh, which is like, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. He's not got the greatest dribble sigs, but it's Tom Chambers. I'm not really sure what you were expecting. Trevor Ariza is going to be a little bit more expensive uh, just due to size, I feel, because he's six foot eight. And he's pretty huge. The Trevor Ariza base is good. He's got John Wall size up, Zach Levine, or John Wall escape, Zach Levine size up, which is a weird dribble combo. Good defensive tendencies, though. They're starting to tendo out some of these cards, which is good, I guess. Rudy Gobert. I mean, he's going to be a good budget center, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't really care about Gobert. Sue me. And we got Big Dame. Dame's going to be very cheap. Uh, I would assume at the absolute maximum, Dame's going to be 40K. There's no possible way he is any more expensive than 40K. Yeah, he's already less. So he's going to be like 20. Oh, wow. Okay. Sean Kemp. I'm not really sure what Sean Kemp's price is going to be, but if I had to guess somewhere between like... 50 to 65k which looks to be kind of correct so you could probably get him for under 50k so that's what's up sean kemp looks very decent very then we got ray allen uh, i'm not really sure what his price is gonna be looks like it's gonna be super cheap though like we're looking at uh the dark matters being like 30,000, which is inherently a good thing just not for me because i open packs for them so siakam's gonna be like 20k okay these are very affordable Jalen Brown, yeah, he'll be the most expensive one because he's, like, in the playoffs and people still kind of gas him. Now, the Invincibles are weird, right? Because you can just buy them. So, people probably aren't going to spend a bunch of MT when you can just, like, straight buy them for 50 bucks, right? And before you say anything, like, a million MT, I think it used to be, because I keep track of these things sometimes, so it's, like, four bucks per million so it's like it's not that more or it's not that much more expensive to just outright buy this card from 2k than it would have been to like buy the mt necessary to buy like t mac you know what i mean so that's not a horrible thing i just want to point that out but i do think the card should come down in price a little bit like if they were like 20 bucks that would be better you can make the argument that like oh then everybody would have the card well at that point you're just a gatekeeping hater like if i'm being honest sorry sorry to offend you uh, what about, who's the other one? LaMelo. I mean, they're still expensive cards. Like, don't get me wrong. If you haven't already, you definitely want to go do, wait, where is it? Is it in spotlights? 
the pioneers of the game spotlight you get three pretty solid dark matters for free for basically not really doing anything uh winning a semi-pro game to 21 uh with no restrictions you just get them for free that's pretty dope i will say mm. that's cool let's go open some more packs because i cannot stop myself for reasons i'm unsure of uh nothing i pull is going to be worth any amount of mt so i'm not really sure why i'm doing this uh AJ Griffin, I'm quick selling AJ Griffin. I'm so tired of AJ Griffin. I'm so sick of his face. I pull this dude every time I open packs. Oh yeah, big Opal squad out here, dog. And we got Charlie Scott. Ooh, Charlie Scott. I don't know anything about him, but I just have to assume he has a cocaine conviction. I feel like if you play in the 1970s, like, you know, it just, it, it'd be like that, you know? Uh, nah, he's pretty clean shout out to you yeah no but there is a dude from, <laughs> there is a dude from my uh <laughs> not not this charlie scott but literally when i google charlie scott there's a man who uh tried to get cocaine through the mail and he was sentenced in 2015 <laughs> named charlie scott so i may not have been talking about the right charlie scott but you know what to quote Bioshock, there's always a man, there's always a lighthouse, there's always a Charlie Scott, there's always a cocaine conviction. It is what it is. Look at Pistol Pete looking dusty out here. Pistol Pete looks like that, like, kid from your hometown that could have gone pro in skateboarding, but they were, like, really, really, really addicted to drugs. Maybe that's a personal experience. I don't know, man. Come on. Give me something worth some MT, dude. All right, we could potentially be seeing something worse than MT. If they give me double Ray Allens, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be upset if I get double Ray Allens. Uh, I don't think I am, but I think it's worse than that. It's Dame. <laughs> it's, God, no. <laughs> no, stop. Stop. Oh, that's pain. I would have took a playoff card over Dame, man. Come on. You didn't need to do me like this. Oh, pain last pack magic let's see man let's just see if i can get something i just want scotty pippen i just don't want to spend like 50 dollars on scotty pippen oh that's back to back dark matters though too bad none of them are going to be worth anything this is back to back dames no nah, there's no way it's ray allen there there he is i knew he was coming i just didn't know when when was ray allen coming there he is all right cool good i'm glad i got that out of my system it's fun stuff they didn't even put him in the right Sonics jersey. God, attention to detail. So low. So low from 2K. All right, I'm just going to get rid of, I don't know, who's who's going to catch the quick sell? Dwayne Casey? Whatever, let's get rid of this jersey. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. All right. That's all I needed to stop opening packs, so that's what's up. There is the free pack. I do recommend going to do the splash zone thing for a free pack because the odds are pretty solid. I'm going to go get my meager uh, amount of MT for this Ray Allen, this Damian Lillard real quick. Now, look, should you buy any of the cards that came out today? Sure. Yeah. If you're looking for like a budget shooting guard, Mo Peterson's it. Like he's good. Very good. The release is solid. He's got great defensive tendencies, good badges, um, good dribble sigs. He's just altogether good right trevor Ariza is good if you're looking for someone a little bit bigger um larry hughes isn't half bad if you're looking for like a kind of a different point guard to run perhaps he's not horrible uh go bear plays strong defense but not much else you know as far as the dark matters like kemp's okay ray allen's ray allen like we've all kind of used ray allen at this point siakam's okay jalen brown's okay just a bunch of okay i really do not recommend buying the invincible uh, 175k vc box uh, the reason being is yes these cards are good but they're not even sellable so you can't even sell the cards which people have been saying isn't a big deal it's like kind of a big deal like it would lower the cost in these invincible cards quite a bit so it would be nice but hey doesn't matter as always been your friend sheep ludes i will catch you guys later stay safe out there this memorial day weekend please do not blow your hand off with fireworks do people shoot fireworks off for memorial day it's america people shoot fireworks off for like everything so i'm sure they do uh please do not drive while impaired and uh please do not do nose beers just just stop don't do it